Morning everyone, I'm recording this at half six in the morning after a very interesting night of being restless, anxious, irritated. Um, I don't know what it is, I think I just, um, maybe it's like an overactive imagination, thinking too much, but um, some of the origins of Mad Truth were talking about my own mental health and how I cope with it and sort of deal with it, maintain it stay on a positive um, sort of path, I guess. Um, this is part two of Free Thoughts, um, which is a piece I wrote sort of again late on last year about the power of writing in the pandemic, uh, specifically free writing to organise your thoughts and um, keep a clear head, which I do a lot, by the way. I haven't done it lately, that's probably why I'm so anxious, you see what I mean? But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you achieve something that you want to achieve today and you do what you want to do in this life because, um, you know, it's too short and then it's too long and then it's too short again. And we've got to deal with that as human beings. Peace. <laughs> Information isn't just information. When we turn on our TVs, illuminating the room and its technical glow, or listen to the radio, we're blasted with many different headlines or blaring like alarms, vying for which one can be loudest and most demanding of your attention. This was especially the case for me in the beginning of the pandemic, as it was for many people. In a frantic attempt to understand what at the time wasn't understandable, I found myself in a kaleidoscopic vortex of red and white, screen after screen of articles composed mostly of sans font hieroglyphs, providing no comfort. The blatantly contradictory and consuming nature of these articles and the information stored therein, along with the looming sense of obvious crisis, created in my mind a sinister reverb that consumed any moments of peace and tranquility. Naturally, this got very overwhelming very quickly, and so I forced some distance between myself and the endless barrage of news. This is why I feel writing is so important. Writing is a way of thinking, of organising the thoughts in your head in a way where they take some form, some structure, and the ideas like molten glass cool and solidify in a way that makes the ideas easier to deal with. The external world is filled with constant questions, uncertainties, meanings, intentions and beliefs are shooting off in different directions like fireworks. Writing is a way of answering some of these questions. Of course, me being me, I either don't understand the questions or the sheer depth and magnitude of them also becomes overwhelming. That's why to save face each morning I'll do something called free writing. It's become somewhat of a ritual for me, along with meditation and mindfulness, which has been invaluable to me over the past year or so. I'll sit and shamelessly spill the contents of my brain onto the page. Dreams, metaphors, vivid and not so vivid images appearing like a miasma of thoughts clinging desperately to the line. There's no ego involved in it whatsoever. It's quite meditative in that way. Pages and pages of semi-incomprehensible nonsense that I, thinking of myself as a poet and a writer, should be embarrassed for thinking it can pass off as writing. Without fail, though, it clears my head. It prepares me for whatever I need to do that day. And even better, every now and then in the cathedral of my windowsill desk, in amongst the grime and the dirt, I'll notice a gleam between the words, out of which will sometimes emerge a shimmering jewel that will later transform into a project filled with the potency that you can only find in the depths of my monkey mind. This is a technique that I find massively helps my mental health, stress levels and my ability to think clearly in times of chaos and confusion. So the next time you feel overwhelmed with everything, try confiding in a bit of paper and a pen. I hope it brings you the clarity that it's brought me.